Jamie Alexander here with Broadcast Beat. We're here at Broadcast Asia 2017, and I'm at the TiVo booth with Charles. How are you? Very well, thank you. All right, great. Are you enjoying the show so far? Yeah, absolutely. It's been a great start to the event. Yes, I would have to say so. We're at day one. We're having a good time in Singapore. So please tell me all about TiVo and what you guys do. Yeah, sure. So actually, it's really great for us to be here at the Broadcast Asia 2017. The first time is the new TiVo, and certainly the new TiVo here in Asia. Um, TiVo, many people will know, has been synonymous with entertainment uh, technology over the years. Um, and we're one of the world's leading companies in entertainment and content discovery. Um, so as TiVo, what we're really focusing on here at this show um, is around the solutions that we have for the Asia-Pacific market, um, right the way through our uh, entertainment, uh, dynamic entertainment metadata, um, through our search and recommendation systems, um, through to the award-winning user, TiVo user experience that everybody knows us for. All right, absolutely love that. So what are you guys showcasing here? Let's talk about some specifics about that. Yeah, so some of the things that we're really showing here is some of the uh, products like our QBTV product, um, which is a user experience aimed at uh, uh, really cost-effective user experience aimed for the developing markets. Um, through our search and recommendation technology and particularly our, our conversational voice uh, technology, which we've launched with major operators in the US and in Europe now, um, which takes voice discovery to a, a, a new level um, and really helps to simplify the user experience again. Um, removes the need to actually search for search and allows you to just be able to say what content you want, be it an actor's name or a title, but not even that, just being able to say like a line from a movie um, or actually not having all of the information. So remembering that a particular actor uh, starred in a, a, a program about a particular place and be able to ask that question as well. Gosh, that is really helpful, especially for yeah, the people that need to ask that way. Not everybody remembers everything, so that's amazing. You guys are leading when it comes to research programs, so tell me more about your latest news in that and what's coming up. Yeah, so on the research side, one of the things that TiVo has always done um, is actually take a real active interest in understanding the consumer. Um, on the, the consumer is the person who uses the, the, the product at the end of the day. Um, and so every year we undertake a number of different research studies. We do a large global study, um, and then we do specific studies in different markets, like our um, quarterly study in the US, um, where we every single quarter we go back to the same group of people and really see how their entertainment consumption is developing. Um, some of the things that we've seen over the last year, and one of the things that was really key, um, was a, a concept that we called show dumping. Um, which is where people have um, invested a lot of time and effort into actually watching their favorite shows, um, and, but then have stopped watching it. And it's not stopped watching it because it they didn't like it anymore. It's actually the reasons why they were stopping watching it is because it became too difficult to watch it. Um, and there's a number of reasons for that. Some of the reasons were um, it was, uh, had changed from being available in one place um, and it was no longer available there or it had gone on to a different service and had gone behind a paywall and they didn't have access to that content anymore um, and what we were seeing was just over a third so about 37 percent of people had actually experienced this um, and then when you looked at this across the different demographics actually millennials so a younger demographic over half of people had said they'd come up across this and that was just something that they were experiencing um, so it's something that really the industry needs to look at and we'll see as that develops I love that. And so you guys have found a way to fill in that blank so people can find what they need. And it's very consumer friendly. Yeah, exactly. I mean, we're all about content discovery um, and really helping people to find that content that they love um, is as simple and seamless way as possible. Um, and we're doing that in other ways as well. So, for instance, one of the other pieces of news recently um, was around uh, what we call our studio broadcaster and network packages in our metadata business, um, where we're helping broadcasters to uh, enable a much richer set of uh, entertainment metadata to be available about their content, which really helps them to do things like be able to monetize the back catalog, um, be able to help people discover some of that older content that maybe wasn't necessarily had the information available to be able to surface it in today's search and recommendation experiences that need a lot richer level of, of metadata. Wonderful, I love it. So just from a personal level, how are you enjoying the evolution of TiVo and what you guys have to offer? So, I mean, from a personal level, I think it's fantastic. Um, what we've taken is we've taken um, a number of uh, different uh, brands 
um, brought them all together and brought those products and solutions together to make enable a best of breed right across the whole entertainment discovery space. So like I said, right the way from that metadata and the dynamic metadata that sits underneath it so we know how content relates to each other in real time through the award-winning search recommendations experiences. I think conversation for me personally um, and the, the voice discovery is a real game changer. Mm -hmm. And we're really seeing that now come to the fore. Actually, the critical mass has been, uh, is, is starting to be found um, and people are starting to launch it as really center and center to their content discovery experience. Mm -hmm. um, and then through the, the great interfaces and the great user experience that we provide. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's wonderful. Thank you so much for that. So we are, we mentioned we're having a good time out here. Um, why do you think it's important for your brand to be here at Broadcast Asia and what do you enjoy about the show? Yeah, I mean, I think for us as the new TiVo, it's important that people uh, see us in the market and understand what TiVo now stands for um, and what TiVo actually can help them help the solutions that we can provide to, to really help our customers um, to enable that content discovery. Yeah. Wonderful. Thank you so much for your time. And before we go, where can we find you guys online so we can read up all about everything new that's happening with you? So you can follow us on Twitter at TiVo for Business. And you can also find us at uh, business.tivo.com. Beautiful. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you. Right.